Welcome back, people. Hope you all enjoyed our last video. If you have not watched it yet, please do check it out. So in today's episode, we've got 15 scary ghost videos that will make your stomach churn. Stay tuned to the end of the video. And yes, if you don't want to miss our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get notified every time we post a new video. Let's get started. Number 15. Our first paranormal clip comes from a TikTok user, Dino Nuggets 41 This guy is undoubtedly well known to you from the internet, as he has shared some spooky films of himself and his house in which we can witness apparitions and paranormal activity. He persisted in releasing fresh films, and the phenomenon in his home grew bigger and increasingly more hostile. water bills 600 bucks a month Stop, 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 stay by me. It was glass. Don't move, don't move, don't move. I know, I know. I know, I know. God, you smell that water. Did you park? It's cold down here. It's winter time. Better, 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 stop. Hold on, oh shit, get, oh god, what, no, 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 we gotta get the out of here, we gotta get out of here, what are we gonna do, what are we gonna do, no, 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 stop, stop, man, we gotta go, no, 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 we make a break, there's nothing there, stay by me, stay right behind me, this is a bad idea, this is a bad idea, just chill out, chill out, oh shit, it's still there, it's still there, it's still there, what are we gonna do? You got your phone? No, I don't. Again.
Hello? No, 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 no. Hello? No! Hello? Shit. No, 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 no. What do you want? Get out of my house, man. The do you want? What the shit? You got to get out of my house, man. Get out of my house. Man. are in there. If you want me now, man, take me. I'm leaving. I'm tired of this shit.
Let's have it out, man. I'm leaving. Just let me get my shit and go. Hello? Hello? No, 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 no. Hello? Hello? This time, the user decides to investigate the house after becoming aware of some loud, distinct noises. As he approaches the faucet, the faucet turns on by itself, and suddenly behind his back in the bathroom, he sees something horrifying appears. A fast-moving, shadowy shape signaled the start of yet another restless night. Now, along with his son, they eventually hear a woman sobbing coming from the basement. They both decide to investigate, and as they descend the steps, they hear sobbing once more. A short while later, a shadowy figure near the stairs restricts their entrance. Then, the next night, the same thing happens. And this time, he goes down to investigate the crying from the basement, but after giving it some thought, he turns around and encounters a terrifying figure who, having been spotted by the user, literally vanishes into thin air. After a few more nights, nothing had improved, and the malevolent force grew increasingly hostile. In order to bid the ghost a final farewell, he makes the decision to take one more stroll around the house. But the thing follows him, frightening and bothering him wherever it goes. Dino Nuggets moves out of his parents' house and into a new one, but he never feels at easy. Dino Nuggets and their family are plagued by paranormal activity and enigmatic figures, making it difficult for them to find calm. What do you people think is happening right now then? Let us know in the comments below. Number 14. Our next spooky video comes from two different YouTube channels. The first from The Haunted Side and the second from the Project Ghost channel. The clean water demon house is an abandoned structure in a secluded and enigmatic place. In the first place, very little is known about the house. The only information that is known about it is that it was constructed in 1926. Otherwise, who built it and why has it been abandoned for 33 years is unknown. One of the first YouTubers to explore the building was Patrick from the channel, The Haunted Side behind that window but I didn't even realize until I reviewed the footage that I'd captured probably one of the best shadow figures I've ever seen and here's where it gets even more compelling this is the shot from the camera that was sitting inside of that room I'm gonna sync up the audio from this camera to our cameras and show you that there's no explainable reason that something should have been behind that door I don't know what it is about that staircase but it just doesn't feel good what was that? What? I don't think that was a shadow. It was on the other side of that window. Had we realized in the moment what we captured, I don't think we would have walked by that door so casually. Can I see you? Dude, that was weird. Oh, there the was property. You know. You know? What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? 
I sound, I sound like another person down there with you guys. Really? really? Yes, you didn't hear that? I did no. not hear you. Who's down here with us? Oh my god. What? I think I caught something right went? here. Where? Patrick, along with his friend Jason, went to this unidentified place and started their investigation. And just when Patrick enters the building, he notices a mysterious black figure standing motionless in the window, which then vanishes into thin air. However, do you guys really think this is the conclusion of the tale of the clean water demon house? The answer is no. The horror is just getting started. After seeing Patrick's episode, Eric from the Project Ghost Channel got in touch with him, and the two of them made the decision to visit this location and conduct an investigation. They were able to gather a great deal of evidence during the course of the night, including sounds, footsteps, and the enigmatic appearance of a shadow in the room in front of them. Once more, Patrick and Eric demonstrated that this location is 100% haunted. But what do you guys think? Number 13. The next scary recording comes from the channel Natalie Benz. This time Natalie goes to an old deserted care facility in the middle of nowhere with her companion Fion. The building is incredibly eerie, crumbling and run down, but that doesn't stop the two in the slightest. Natalie and Fionn investigate the old building in the first segment of the video. Later, they decide to use a Ouija board to try and make contact with any spirits that might be living there. Then, soon after they make the decision to employ a spirit box gadget, something or someone says something unsettling. Take a look. Some ghost hunting. So, this is the skyway. Right? You said you walked through the stairs. But there are like three stairways in here. This was a sluice. If there's any spirits here with us right now, you can use our energy to move the planchette to communicate with us. Your permission. If there is anybody here, is that dust or orbs? I have no it idea. Looks like snow. Look at it. I can see it. If there is anybody here, you can use this device to speak with us. That's orbs. Think. Yeah. Here we go. S box. Danny. S M. Looks like it's snow, doesn't it? Is there anybody here that would like to speak with us? Stay far away so I don't show any of the faces. God. What's that? That is. Looks like some kind of a photo album that locks. Yeah, is he alright? It's a purse. It was a gift. 1928. Wow. And there's a purse. Did you start a jingling? And um, as you can see, I'm nowhere near that. I swear they did. Is there a breeze? The windows are all shut. And they're boarded up. The pair gets frightened as they see orbs hovering about the room and hear the word devil coming via the spirit box equipment. Nevertheless, in spite of their experience with the devil, Natalie and Fion keep looking into the former care facility. 
Subsequently, they come to an upper floor chamber where they video something that chills them to the bone. The two women are drawn to a room full of antiques, including diaries, and are startled to discover that someone or something is attempting to get in touch with them. There's no wind, but the closet hangers move. Nothing suspicious, right? But something horrifying was picked up by keen-eyed viewers that the ghost-hunting duo missed while recording. Watch closely. Did you see it? Natalie's reflection is clearly visible in the video taken as the light reaches the mirror. But if you look closely, you can see that something or someone's hand is resting on her other shoulder. Over time, the shape of the object changes to what many mistake for a claw. This capture frightened Natalie and Fionn's viewers, with many thinking that Natalie had been marked for possession by whoever or whatever was touching her. However, what do you suppose this is? Number 12. The following clip comes from the channel Signs and Signals. In the video, Dale and his nephew Eli explore an old, purportedly haunted chapel that dates back to the 1800s. Dale has had scary experiences with paranormal activity there in the past. However, in the first scene of the film, Dale and Eli explore the church and Dale asks ghosts to come speak with them. Dude. Bruh. Places creep, not play pianos. Did you used to play piano here? We would love to hear you play again. About minute six in, they start to feel uneasy about something. When the two adventurers arrive at the piano, they discover nothing is amiss. In fact, nothing at all seems out of place. When Dale cries out to the ghosts once more to plead that they be allowed to play the piano one more time, they hear a big bang coming from somewhere else in the chapel. Dale tracks the sounds and discovers something horrifying. The building's door, which was closed before, is now open. In an effort to find out who or what is playing tricks on them, the two keep exploring the old church. And soon they manage to catch this. Take a look, did you see it? A shadowy figure may be seen peeking around the doorway and then swiftly disappearing twice as Dale is shouting in the church's main area. Orbs can also be seen floating around at the same moment. This clip scared off a lot of viewers, and many of them concur with the ghost hunters that they actually saw a shadow figure at this church. However, what are your thoughts? Number 11. The next scary video comes from the channel Ghost Tech Paranormal. Jeff, Phil, and Mark traveled to Hallstatt this time. This time, they were requested to look at one of the residences there. The building's occupants are afraid of the sinister behavior of a man's ghost, which the building's previous and present owners have complained about. Jackie and Clive, the present owners, have reported a number of paranormal occurrences. News door in the hallway. The door opens only about six inches, so the switch can be reached. On the other side of the door is a cupboard, which stops the door from opening fully. As I open the door to reach the switch, I see and touch a hand which is covering the switch. 
It is solid and pale grey in colour. As I touch it and see it at the same time, I jerk backwards, pulling my arm and shoulder. What? What was it? What happened? You okay? Go on. You alright? Yeah, I'm alright. What happened? F***ing hand on the door. You saw a hand on the door? No. On the other side? hurt my arm as well. I yanked my arm. I pulled my arm back right back. It scared me for a second. I reached for the light switch. Yeah. And there was already a hand there. There was a fucking hand there. Kevin? He's walking. He's in, it's in front of me. Foot. Foot. It's in front of me. Foot. Yeah, that's where we caught you last time. That static's going right up through me, that is so heavy. Whoa! I just had a, f a huge breath beside me then. Oh no, oh, oh, no. no. it's that door there that you felt the hand. Feel it. Shit. Yeah. Feeling. I touched your hand, feeling, on the yeah, light I was switch. Just talking about that as well. Uh, you stood in front of me because there is a cold pocket of air right on this step in front of me. You're standing on the step in front of me. It's, yeah. it's here. It's right here in front of me on the stairs. Yeah. That breath was fucking loud in my ear then. Whoa. That was right next to me. There's a... Again. There's a... Bow. Cold... Uh, breeze... It right. looked like a shadow went past you then. Behind... Be, on, behind your left hand side towards the wall and right behind you. Tell, tell me what you did. Where you were based. Were you in this country or did you... Were you did you manage to go overseas? Maybe to Africa or somewhere like that? Where did you meet your wife? Do you, do you want to talk about her or would you rather not? And it, it, you're going to need to try and communicate with us somehow, Kevin, because otherwise I'm just going to ask questions and I won't know whether I'm, you know, communicating with you and you're you're happy or whether I'm you know annoying you which I, I don't want to do movement on the stairs okay Thus, Jeff, Phil, and Mark resolved to look into this issue in great detail. After assembling the equipment upon arriving, the team started recording the phenomenon, from captured EVPs to mysterious bangs. However, Jeff will remember one particular episode for a very long time. During the course of the inquiry, Jeff visits a little chamber. He reaches for the light switch, but to his amazement, he touches a bizarre, eerie hand instead of the switch. He peers inside right away and notices a hand that appears grayish. He jerks the hand away without thinking twice, and he is so afraid of the entire thing that they put an end to their research and take a break. The following evening, they make an attempt to communicate with the entity and capture something equally enigmatic. There's a clear, loud breathing sound between Jeff and Mark when they get to the stairs. Despite being unsettled by the entire event, they were able to record this a few seconds later. Mark notices an enigmatic shadow close to Jeff, 
Just a few seconds after hearing the menacing breathing, the apparition emerges out of nowhere, passes right through Jeff, and then vanishes. You're probably thinking it's Mark's shadow, but at that point, neither Jeff nor Mark are moving. Also, the second camera captures the entire action and gives us a better view of it. However, this is not the only intriguing video that a stationary camera pointed at the steps has captured. They succeeded in documenting something even more horrifying on the first day of the investigation. A shadow on the staircase is captured by a static camera while Jeff and Phil are downstairs. Just as Jeff and Phil are about to head for the stairs, the apparition actually appears out of nowhere, stands there for a minute, and then vanishes. So people, what was that? Did they really manage to capture a genuine ghost on camera twice? Number 10. This next clip comes from the Channel Twin Paranormal. This time, Ryan, River, and Wyatt visited the Devil's Chair in the Casadaga, Florida Cemetery. The Devil's Chair is a feature of the cemetery that is surrounded by an enigmatic phenomenon and even satanic rites. Over the years, numerous reports of ghostly figures have been made there. Thus, the twin paranormal team made the decision to visit there and carry out their investigation at night without second thought. Well, you guys ready for this? Oh, oh what the f Dude, we definitely caught that. Had to have. Let's start this investigation and go all. Can you spike it again if you understand what I'm saying? Please hold on to that object, thank you. Again, just this spiked. Again? Yeah, just spiked again. There's walking. There's walking. Do you hear it? Yeah. You hear that, Wyatt? The f is that? There's like footsteps right here. Do you mind if I bring out a device that you can use your words? Can you give us a sign if that's something that you're interested in? Please. Going. It's going. It. For now, say whatever you'd like to say, just so that we know that you hear what we are saying to you. Please. Whoa, did you just see that light go out? Whoa. Forgive my sins. Forgive my sins. Forgive my sins. Whoa. Ironically, we're at a graveyard? Yeah. If I sit in this chair, somebody will communicate with me. Are they good or are they bad? Please, give me a sign. We're trying to find out who is here. We're trying to find out how powerful you are. I know you. Whoa, I know you. Have we ever gotten that? I don't no. think so. Communication. Guys. A yes. Do you f see that? Dude, if the stories are true about the chair, though, I don't think you should sit down. Well, I don't even really know the stories. If you sit down, like, later on in life, you can get terminally, terminally Ill. Ill. And then other things, like, die of disease or something like some crazy really? shit. Yeah. Whoa, the light just turned off right as I said that. What the f Has like, this actually happened to somebody? I, I don't know. A lot of people are too scared to sit in it because of the stories. You think I'm going to die if I sit in the chair? No. I don't think so. I'm going to sit in this chair. I just saw that. I caught it. Okay, I'm going to bring the REM pod with me. Ew. She said ill. ill. No, you were just telling the story. I was literally just saying ill.
looking at us? Holy dude. Right there, that dark shadow. That looks like two people just standing there. That's definitely a person right there. Holy what the No. That's one person just leaning up against that tree. The thing to the left of it's not a person. Why is there someone just standing there? He's in like a hood or a robe. Yeah. What the f is he doing here, dude? He looks like death. I think there's statues. You think so? Rocks being thrown or something. It's weird, dude. Is there something evil here? Here in this chair, with me. Here in this chair, with me. Wyatt, did you f***ing say something? Nope. Guys, 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 guys. Oh my f***ing god. Guys, somebody just said, chair. Somebody just f***ing whispered, bro. I swear on everything. I swear on everything. That gave me full body chills. I swear on everything, I promise. I heard somebody talk to me. And it didn't. He's standing there. That kind of scared the shit out of me. I've I saw it too. something like that with detail. I promise I saw it too. I promise on everything. Okay, we only asked two questions, but let's listen to these two. I feel like somebody's watching us. I'm setting in above the chair now. If anybody wants to come on the other side, please speak into it. One more time. What do people call this chair? The, the devil like chair. Business chair. Or does it make you mad? Is there somebody standing mad. in this corner right now? Yes. Holy shit. Dude, might look at my arms. Dude, mine too. Okay. Let's listen. Is there somebody here at the devil's chair? Why do people the call devil. this the devil's chair? Gary, are you here with us right now? Yes. What the f is with us right now? When I was sitting in the chair, I heard a voice. What did that voice say to me? Chair! 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 That's what I f heard. Bro, there was replies almost. Is there somebody over here watching us? Where did that baby crying come from? F you. Oh, dude. Are you the one that Mary told us to watch out from? Do you want us to leave? Something that was hard. Okay, we're gonna have to definitely listen in while we edit. No! No, no way. way! You're kidding. There's no way. Thank you! Thank you so much! Again! Again! I saw it turn off and then turn back on! Oh my god! Thank you! Oh. Can somebody tell me why that cat ball's not turning off? I don't know. Look at that shit! Look at that shit! Yeah, just turned off and turned Look at that off. shit! Let go of that, please. And come over here.
It's dude, they look over they look over there. Towards. Towards. Dude. Oh my god. Guys, I think we should do an Estes method. Ah, oh, they let go completely. They let go completely. Thank you. Why? Whoa. Guys, I think we should do an Estes method. The entire team had to exercise caution after arriving at the location since they needed to pass through a gated area that is manned around the clock. And once they reached the eerie chair, they were not permitted to wait any longer. All 12 or so minutes that they were in the vicinity of the devil's chair, the team felt paranormal activity. However, that was just the start. The next thing they managed to capture is unsettling. The lamp next to them eventually went out again, and a short while later, Wyatt noticed two figures, white and dark, that turned out to be sculptures. They then carried on with their investigation and captured some really impressive EVPs. During their EVP session, the team managed to get some incredible responses, but what they captured at the very end is quite unsettling. Take a look. One of the cameras records a female EVP while the surrounding equipment goes berserk. And then a shadowy human figure approaches them before vanishing into the bushes. Did the team really manage to capture an actual ghost in a spooky graveyard? Number 9. The next video is from the YouTube channel, A Sip of Fear. In this video, Dima from YouTube channel investigates this abandoned place, but it turns out he was not alone. Throughout his investigation, a lot of things happen. First, a ladder falls over on its own. Then footage from another room shows an object suddenly moving on its own. Again, as Dima heads outside to investigate, something strange happens. An object on the floor moves. So is this real evidence of paranormal activity caught on camera or just a hoax? Number 8. The following scary video, I'm Never Babysitting Again, was submitted by Tanner J. Shelton on TikTok. Tanner was babysitting for a family in Charlotte, North Carolina, in 2019, where he heard laughter from one of the children's rooms. He was first annoyed when he realized that the noises were coming from the baby's room, given that it was 10.30 p.m. on a school night, and that he had already had to put the kids to bed several times during the night. Tanner checks the baby monitor, supposing that his elder siblings could have gone to see how their younger sister was doing. But what he saw will send shivers down your spine. Watch closely. Tanner displays the recorded baby monitor footage in the film, but startlingly, he does not appear to be seeing the kids. Something with luminous eyes is seen reaching toward the sleeping infant via the crib's bars. Tanner said that he entered the room right away to see how the child was doing and discovered that, despite looking around the entire space, no one else was present. Tanner didn't want to frighten the parents, so at first, he kept the video to himself. Since then, he has shared four updates regarding this occurrence, stating that the parents called a few days later to report that the infant had suffered an injury. They were naturally terrified when he played back the video from the baby monitor to them. However, what do you guys think about this? Number 7. This video comes from a user named Mario, and he has been experiencing some intense paranormal activity for a long time. It has gotten to the point where Mario is at a loss as to what to do. He has tried asking priests to come and exercise whatever demonic spirit is in his house, but they have not believed him. Five at the in my house, I see the camera, they no hay nadie. Pero no hay nadie.
ni nadie golpean la puerta esto es rarísimo ¡Ay! ¿Qué es esto? No hay nadie parado abajo. ¿Salgo batata? Hostia, en pedo hay alguien ahí. ¿Qué carajo es esto? ¿Qué está ahí? ¿Ay? So one day he decided to record these incidents and this is what he captured. Although there is a knocking sound on the door in the video, the CCTV feed does not show anyone outside. After making sure nobody was outside when he went outside to open the door, he saw a shadow in the window that appeared to be a human. Mario states that there was nothing on the other side that could have caused that shadow. And to make things worse, the bike pump right in front of it fell off the chair on its own. So is this real evidence of paranormal activity caught on camera or just a hoax? Number six. This next clip comes from the channel Fourth Wall. A highly interesting case was discovered by the channel staff. This week we'll meet Maguro, a resident of a stigmatized building who also happened to inherit the apartment from its former owner along with a cat. He attempted to get in touch with the prior owner but was unable to do so so he handed the cat to some close friends because he didn't want to take care of it. However, after taking the cat with them, he received a call from his friends later on asking him to check out their house because they were experiencing some sort of paranormal activity. The day he arrived, his friend's wife then got in touch with him to let him know that her husband had decided to talk to Meguro for an interview. <laughs> ごしょしたくなかったんやけど、なかったんですけど、あの、ちょっとうちの嫁の千秋の調子がどんどん悪くなってきて。おお、千秋。今この下部が。え、ちょっと大丈夫。The interview revealed information about a troubling history that occurred 20 years ago. Meguro felt a small sense of relief 
because he believed the cat to be the cause of everything. Abruptly, his wife appears in the doorway, looking ill, and we discover later that she is possessed. Maguro then installs cameras in the rooms and watches for the occurrence. For several days, nothing occurs. But then, one unsettling night, this happens. Take a look. The man wakes up in the middle of the night, walks into the living room, stands still for a short while, then sits down by the door, and remains there for a short while before getting up and returning to the bedroom. The most unbelievable thing is that the previous owner's body was discovered where he was sitting, and what's even scarier is that it's likely the husband, not the wife, who is possessed. Soon later, when the man's wife attempted to get in touch with Maguro, her husband seized her computer and cell phone and acted aggressively. A few weeks later, the woman got in touch with Maguru once more, telling him that although things weren't quite over, her husband's condition had improved and he no longer appeared to be possessed. Simultaneously, in their former residence, cameras remained operational and captured all events. Here's what one of the cameras caught. Something terrifying is captured on camera during the night while no one is home. The door adjacent to which the man was discovered dead opens, and a mysterious white figure appears behind it. Is this the spirit of the place's former owner who pass it away here, or is the whole tale a merely a well-crafted hoax? Number 5. Our next recording comes from the channel Ricky Velasquez. Ricky's destination this time was an abandoned structure said to be haunted by the apparition of a long-dead woman. They made the decision to investigate reports of paranormal activity. He began streaming live as normal prior to the entrance. After entering, he heard this. They became even more concerned when they heard unsettling noises while they were by themselves in the building. Hola. Dice Ricky, dile a mi novia que es real lo que se vio ayer, que era en vivo y no hay nada de computadora. No tengo ni computadora yo. ¿Fuiste tú? No, hombre, no mames. Oh, 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 oh. Pregúntale algo. ¿Qué quieres que le pregunte? Pues lo que vimos, que cuántos son. Ok. ¿Cuántas hay aquí? Pues espérate. Ay. Dice esa niña familia Hernández y es de Lourdes de Guanajuato. No, mami, ya no. Yo no te voy a irme. ¿A poco no sientes nada? Sí. ¿Pero no quieres más? Sí, pues sí, pero yo, tú estás jugando. Yo no estoy agarrando eso. No, más poquita. Ok. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué otra cosa quieres que pregunte? <ríe> ¿Tú sientes? Se siente algo aquí ya, ¿eh? ¿Estás aquí con nosotros? No, no, no. ¡Liz! ¡Muérete de aquí! ¡Muérete! ¡Muérete! However, they kept looking into it and began holding Ouija board sessions. 
What they were able to record will chill you to the bone. We hear a woman's voice behind Ricky at one point, and he goes to investigate. To his horror, the source of the sound is a scary demon that was standing directly behind them. They both become so afraid that they leave the building and call off the investigation. Did they actually capture footage of a real demon inside a haunted house? Number 4. The next creepy clip comes from the TikTok account Foul Mitten Outdoors. With more than a million followers, the user has become well known for his films of hunting and fishing, as well as his unusual experiences with enigmatic species in the outdoors. He has thousands of followers thanks to his effective combination of the two subjects, and he searches forests for dogmen, encryptics, and Bigfoot. Oh, damn. Holy sh All right. So, just one on the other side of the house. Oh. What the hell? Where'd it go? What is that? In the footage in question, the user is sound asleep when his spouse wakes him up to tell him that there are frightful noises coming from their roof. When Mitten stepped outdoors, he noticed two head-shaped, glittering eyes look down at the user before eerily vanishing from view. The uploader dashes around his house's opposite side, but whatever was there has vanished. All that's left is a large mound of bones on the uploader's home roof. Number three, this video was posted by Exploring with Josh on YouTube. In this video, we follow the YouTubers as they explore the Screaming Witches Forest on Pendle Hill. The first sign of paranormal activity is the REM pod activating. Dude. It like, it was like- It even was poking the thing. Now I'm getting freaked out. Oh, whoa, bro. They're both, they're both going off at the same time! Yo! Holy Dude. I gotta get off this rock before I bust Oh my god. Both at the same time. That was insane. How, how many times do you ever- Whoa, whoa! That just lit up every single light! Another kind of ghost. Fuck you! Holy oh. It just said fuck you, tell me not. Oh my god, it definitely did. Hey. Did it just hey. It did evil hey. Bro, Hang on, bro. What the fuck was that? What did you just do then? I didn't do anything, but I just felt like a really bad pain in my back. What do you like, mean? Like a scratch, like an actual, like like a dagger. No, are you serious? No, I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm, like, I'm not joking. I mean, dude, I, I believe. No, 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 dude, Josh, no, dude. Not, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. You've got to be kidding me. Josh, have you done this? No. No, promise me. No, I, bro, I promise. I was just with you. When this happens, they are incredibly terrified. And soon after, another REM pod also goes off. It is obvious there is a big presence around when two of them go off at once. The ghosts then start cursing at the people. They then exhibit more aggressive behavior. Josh lowers his shirt to reveal that he was clearly scratched by a ghost after their technology fails. So is this real evidence of paranormal activity caught on camera or just a hoax? Number two. The next video was posted by user Pac3Y3 on YouTube. The uploader claims to have seen a ghost on camera while touring an old Melbourne, Australia building. The structure is home to a small skipping girl who is supposed to be a supernatural hotspot and has the ability to disappear through walls. pac 3 y 3 films the historic building's architecture while catching a glimpse of someone or something else hiding on an upper story. This is where all the visitors come in the mornings and have a look around. Hang on, what the hell? I think, what is that up there? I thought I just saw something, maybe not. So there's a chandelier there, and the floor is equally decorative. It's all tiled. Something unsettling is spotted shuffling around one of the balconies. What initially appears to be a person dressed as a ghost or in a typical white sheet. Upon closer examination, it seems to be more sneaky. What's more unsettling is that the figure appears to be crawling down the barrier, 
suggesting that whatever this is, is actually transparent. However, as PAC3Y3 claims, is this a ghost that was captured on camera? Please let me know your thoughts. Number one, our last spooky video is from the Scary Ghost Zone channel, which was created more than 10 years ago. Graveyards at night are among the most eerie locations, and this video is no different. In the video, a filmmaker goes to an old historic cemetery late at night and starts to record the scene. But they were at a loss for words when they saw what they did. Did you see it? When a videographer swings his camera around the ancient cemetery, he or she appears to be sitting by a tomb. However, milliseconds later, when the camera pans back, the person or item that was sitting there has vanished for unknown reasons. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. And that is going to wrap it up for today, you guys. I hope you liked the video. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so and hit that notification bell. This has been The Haunter, and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, keep it creepy.